All right. So I'm going to start just below the top there so I have plenty of space. If you can pull it in one stroke, that's great. But we're going to do it in two because I want to make sure that my negative space is nice and clean. Now we're going to pull that curve. Uh, you know, you got to pick one side, so I'm going to start with the outside. Make sure the tip of the brush is doing all the work here. And I'll come back and clean that up in just a moment. And then you notice that area that does need to be cleaned up the example so I'm just gonna finesse this here and then you know now that you've been really focusing on your negative space you'll see kind of the wiggly areas that you might want to clean up I've got a spot up here and some areas down here so I'm gonna start at the top I'm gonna wanna not quite draw like you're doing a paint by number, but kind of just lightly drag the tip of your brush across to get that good chisel. That's the important characteristic of the Gothic or block letter alphabet. And then if you do make a mistake like I just did and go over, this is an illusion. So as long as those characteristics and your negative space are maintained, no one will be the wiser except you. So look how good that looks. You can't even tell. Because we are people, um, our strokes are going to be inconsistent naturally. Um, we're not robots. And honestly, you know, if something is as perfect as a robot would do it, um, you might as well just print it out. So I'm going to come back here and clean this up. And then maybe this area right here. And then I'll fix the bottom. Nice chisel. And then I'm going to come around, and make sure that my curve follows along nicely. And then I do notice there's a little bit inaccuracy right there at that curve so I'll just slowly a little bit at a time make sure that I'm getting that stroke it's never worth it to rush it so See that I'm only coming in a little bit at a time. Then I'll notice that I do want to fix that bump there to make sure my line thickness is good. And the reason why I'm showing you this so slowed down is because I want to show you the work that goes into constructing a letter. You know, it's no use to you if you're just starting off and I just go boom, boom, boom. If we slow it down, we can really break down the process and the importance of taking your time while creating these letters because once you practice, you can definitely make perfect. So, you know, take your time and you'll be fine. And that is your Gothic letter D.